High Heart by Jamie Marsh. Computer, keep our current course at set speed. Inform me of any collisions. Computer power on low capacity, sir. More than one operation in use. Make this your priority. What else are you doing? Currently plotting set speed and informing of collisions. Yes, and the other thing? University of Saturn's moon. Textbook on... Yes, I get it, Jen. Is she in her room? Yes, sir. There are many other fundamental problems in the physics of atomic nuclei, black holes and... No, what? Why have you stopped? Program pause. Continue textbook. The early universe. String theory is a theoretical framework and What if I told you about using up all the computer's processing space? If we give it too much to do, it runs too slow. I know. It won't be long till we're there anyway. Stop worrying about it. I'm sure you've heard enough to make the medical academy by now. Well, yeah. What were you listening to? Was it Fister? What a fascinating book. Computer? No, don't worry about it. I won't listen anymore. Oh, don't be embarrassed, love. I know you want to be a doctor just like the rest of us. Dad, let's just... Computer, continue textbook, please. Mm. The starting point for string theory... What's this all about? How's physics going to help you become a doctor? I'm sorry, Dad. I thought you were more responsible than this. Computer, what's going on? Collision detected. Why didn't you inform me? Priority function was reverted to textbook. Quickly, we need to get back to the cockpit. What are we going to do? Well, currently it looks like we're crashing into a small moon. Have you tried the front boosters? Computer, activate front boosters. Activating front boosters. It looks like they're not working. How long till impact? One minute till surface impact. Cut boosters, manual control. Time for seatbelts, I think. Impact in five. Dad, get this ship up. Four. Dad, up. I'm trying my best! Two. Ah! One. Jen, Jen, are you alright? I'm fine. You? Yeah, I, I, I'm fine. Computer, where are we? Computer, reply. Dad, we have no power. Oh, must be something wrong with the engine. Ooh, out of spark, but we might be able to manually get her going. Could you pass me the toolbox? You disappoint me, Jen. You could have been involved last year and wouldn't be in this mess. I wasn't ready to do the test then. I thought you understood that. Aha! Uh-huh. Your brother had the same amount of time and he got in fine. Well, I'm not my brother. I know that! I'm sorry. I'm going wait, to my room. Wait, Jen, I didn't mean that. Oh. Computer? Oh, why did you have to do this to me today, you stupid ship? Oh. Ow. Did that help? No, but it hurt. I'm so I'm sorry. I didn't mean what I said. I promise I'll get you to the induction on time for your enrolment, but I will need an extra pair of hands to fix this engine. All right, fine. Now, you see that little light next to the thermal switch that should be red at the moment? Yep. And what about now? It should be green. Now green. On the count of three, we both need to lift our thermal switches. You understand? Ready. One, two, three. (coughs) Keep pushing. (coughs) Engine online. Yes. Well done. I knew we could do it. No! What's wrong? Fuel tank low. Looks like we're out of fuel. Dad, what are you looking for? I need to find something with enough battery power so I can plug it in and send a distress signal. Have we got any food? Ah... What? I might have ate the last snack. Dad? How do I know we're going to get stranded on a moon? Let's hope we aren't here for long then. Computer? 
Not working, remember? For crying out loud! Oh, what a chore. You actually have to move across the room and not ask the computer to do it for you. Your sarcasm isn't appreciated. Dad? What? We can't get to the water without power. Yeah, we can just open it up and use it from the tank. It hasn't been filtered. We can't drink it. I'm scared. If we're late, I won't get into the academy. It will all be alright, Jen. Let's just check the menu scanner a sec. What for? Hello, I am your Medi computer. What can I do for you today? Outside air is breathable for humanoid species. There you go then. You go out and see if you can find some water. I'll stay here and get the signal sent. Yeah? On my own? Ah, ho hold on. Um, we can use these communicators. They don't hold enough power to help us out, but we can stay connected. I'm just outside now. What's it like out there? Cold. I can't hear a thing. It's just rocks everywhere. Good luck. So Jen, let's just test your knowledge before your entry test. Dad, not now. Come on, you have to be ready by now. Fine. So, easy one first. The Morvedans have a binary vascular system. So what's their average blood pressure? Um... Oh, come on Jen, this is an easy one. Let me think. Um... I don't know. How don't you know this one? Have you been listening to any medical textbooks? Well... Why do I even bother with you, Jen? Your brother would know this. The answer is 240 over 160, and less than 280 over 180. Double human blood pressure because of the extra heart. It's easy, why don't you know it? Are you even listening to this? Is that mum? Oh, it's just a holler tape. I didn't know we still had any. Which birthday was that? I don't know, it must be one of your first birthdays because your mum's still walking. I think it's the only one we have right now, because they take up a lot of power, these hollow tapes. Yes, I did it. I found some water, but it's bubbling for some reason. Hello. That's odd. The water seems to be creating hydrogen. Jen, I think I've found the power source we need. Alright, what is it? The only thing with enough power is this hollow tape. No, Dad, you can't. Yes, I know, but would you rather be stranded on this moon? But Mum... Don't you think I don't know that? Don't I ask Jen? It's her birthday. This is when you agreed for me to take you to the zoo, but... Your mum had a conversation with you, and I never heard it, but she changed your mind. Jen, listen to me. You can do whatever you want to do. Your dad comes from a family of rigid set rules. You don't. You can be whatever you want to be. I'll always be proud of you. Right, enough of that. If we're going to do this, you better get on with it. Do you trust me? Why do you say that? Don't break that holotape. But I have to. We have no choice. I have just realised this water is producing hydrogen because the rocks are causing natural electrolysis. You mean you found a natural form of energy? Not only energy, but sustainable energy. This rock will never stop producing enough hydrogen to fuel our engine. And, Dad? Yes, Jen? I'm sorry I haven't said this before, but I didn't want to disappoint you. I know you have always wanted me to be a doctor, like you and my brother, but I have realised that's not what I want to do. I want to be an engineer. It's okay. Your mother was right. Well, she always was. You should be what you want to be. Right. I'll bring back some of this rock then. I have it. Right, so what are we going to do? Okay, we now need to wire the water tank to the engine so the hydrogen gas can enter the fuel tank and that should spark us into power. So let's grab our tools then. Moment of truth. Bingo! Let's get out of here. Where are we heading? Computer, set a course for the engineering corps. We have an important discovery to tell them. Thank you, Dad. High Heart by Jamie Marsh Jen, Abby Butler Dad, Jamie Marsh Computer, Madison Johnson